Hey everyone, subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shout out giveaway where we shout out one lucky person every month who subscribes and comments saying I subscribed. Now, let's get on with the video. As you guys know, I'm pretty new to the Roblox scene, as I've stated many times before within these videos. But there's one thing that I've always noticed. Whenever I was playing before I got Roblox, people were always being mean to me and they weren't really talking to me. But after I bought my Roblox and after I customized my character a little bit, people all of a sudden wanted to talk to me and they wanted to have conversations with me and be my friend. This really confused me, so I thought, why not search it up? Does this happen to other people on the game as well? And it turns out it does. It happens so, so much. So guys, I've decided to show you the 10 worst gold diggers on Roblox. Many other YouTubers have come across these gold diggers too, and I'm kind of curious to see what their reaction is to them. So let's start off with the first gold digger. The first one comes from Aya Z. He's a Roblox content creator who has a channel that has over 500,000 subscribers, and he used to be pretty popular for doing these types of quote unquote gold digger videos in the past. He's recently done another one, so let's check it out. She just said, ew, and this girl said, Sarah, let's go. Stop following me, bacon. Oh, <gasps> they're being rude. Wait, can you be my friend? Wow, now that's pretty brutal. I can't believe someone would be so mean to someone just because they don't have any Robux. Later in the video, Aya Z switches to his character that is fully decked out in Robux gear. Like 100% fully, fully decked out, even with the Lamborghini and everything. And the girl, not much to his surprise, wanted to be his friend after all. After she found out that he had Robux. The second gold digger comes from a channel called Jeremy, and he has over 700,000 subscribers. Now I find this pretty interesting because Jeremy does a lot of these videos and he actually has admin commands on this game, which is the Adopt Me game. So let's go ahead and watch what happens. Oh my, is she actually following us in here? No. Why are you doing this? Ugh. Is it because I'm poor? No, it's because you're a gold digger. You're a rich person, you can make me rich. As you can see, he's pretty harsh on the gold diggers, but rightfully so. As the video continues, he goes on to troll the girl with admin commands and a lot, lot more. <laughs> I guess the gold diggers should really think twice before they go on to that adoption game. The third gold digger comes from Jeremy, again. Like I said before, he has a lot of these videos. But I just wanted to show you two because I think they were both hilarious. Now, like I said before, he does have admin commands on this game. This is the same game, but just a different gold digger. And I honestly think these two are equally as bad. Do you need my money? We gotta test, test her out, okay? We had reports coming in from the local sheriff here that she is a gold digger. Kicks him in his pot. Evil baby. As you can see, it's not very pleasant to be a gold digger within that game. Later on in the video, he decides to go and troll the gold digger by giving her some big old fish lips. Yeah. After he troll after he trolls her by turning her head into big fish lips, and also the children as well for some reason, he decides he wants to, you know, kill the gold digger. So obviously he gets his handy admin tools out and just explodes her. Her head pops off and she's left headless for the rest of the video. I guess the gold diggers should really stay away from the adopt a baby game unless they want to be trolled by Jeremy and his awesome admin perms. The fourth gold digger comes from a channel called Zero Kittens. Their channel has over 400,000 subscribers. And this one just blows me away with how brutal it is, to be completely honest. You guys, just, just see for yourself. She said, uh, ew, no thing, you have no money. What the heck, you poor? As you can see, she was pretty straight up with him. She was like, yeah, what about it? So it was just kind of like, wow, that's, oh yeah, nice. I can't believe someone would be so straight up about that and so just rude about it. Later on in the video, he befriends her with his cool, new, rich looking outfit. And of course, she agrees to hang out with him. He gains the trust and then after she's feeling all too comfortable, he decides to tell her that, that he was the noob that she rejected earlier. And what does he do? He flings her into the sky. I guess you could say that that's pretty well deserved, don't you think? The fifth gold digger comes from a channel called Zaddy Let's Play. Her channel has over 2 million subscribers. 
Now, this is more in a roleplay format, but I find it kind of interesting. And this one certainly does rub me the wrong way. Let's check it out. It was so easy to scam her. All I said was, give me your unicorn and I'll make it neon. <laughs> Dummy. Ugh. So what do you want for Maya? $50,000. As you can see, that was pretty rude. Not giving Maya back to Ellie. A gold digger completely stole that unicorn from the little girl. The video continues on and Zaddy tries many things just to get the unicorn back for Ellie, but is unsuccessful at the end. She's not able to get Maya back for Ellie, which is really sad because that gold digger completely scammed Ellie out of her pet. Zaddy is left not knowing what to do. Maybe buy her a new one? Our sixth gold digger comes from a channel named Poke. Poke has 3.4 million subscribers and is a Roblox content creator. In this video, he exposes a gold digger pretending to be rich, but is really poor. You look blank, 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 your chain. Wait, is she, is she admiring my, rich, she said rich. Molly, uh, I'm gonna say Molly, I think you might be lying. As you can see, that girl was being pretty rude to him, but you'll be surprised at how it ends. Towards the end of the video, Poke actually brings this girl back to his house in Roblox, and she is met with a really bad looking house. It honestly just shows that Poke is poor himself. Then she says some very choice things to him, just saying that his house is trash, that it's really bad, and that he's poor. A little bit later, Poke actually follows this girl back to her house and it shows not even a house, just a wall with chairs and a toilet. Turns out this girl is actually poor herself and just pretending to be rich. Maybe instead of pretending, she should have been a little upfront and maybe asked some people for some help. The seventh gold digger also comes from Poke. Now, I just want to say that not a lot of people do these gold digger videos. There's actually a few select people who actually do them and do them actually well. So if you're seeing repeat people or the same people for just different gold diggers, that's probably why, because there's just not a lot of selection. But within this video, he is actually scammed out of $7,500 in Roblox. Which I think the reason how this happened is so completely ridiculous. Just go ahead and watch. It says you must have over 50,000 in game to enter. Um, you will now be scanned? Stop being so mean. You can clearly see how stupid that is. Like charging rich people to come into your house and then charging them for everything else. Like a $5,000 fee to get to the $2,000 leaving fee is just weird and so like why later on in the video poke actually exposes the girl and tell him that he's the one who is behind the account and he tells other people that it is actually a scam and to not go inside that girl's house but before he was able to get out of the house he did have to pay the seventy five hundred dollars in order to leave the house it just goes to show that money is the only thing that some people care about the eighth gold digger comes from abri z Again, in the beginning, he honestly just walks around looking rich and this girl approaches him and basically wants to date him. Which, again, I'm gonna... Which, what I'm gonna say to that is, don't try to date people over Roblox. It's not okay, you shouldn't do it, you're too young, just please don't attempt it. But what happens in his video is actually pretty interesting. Give it a watch. Dang, I didn't even say nothing to her and she likes me. <laughs> she just ran away quick. Why she ran away? Ew, no. As you can see, she was pretty rude. Once he switched to his other skin, showing her his true self, she literally ran away and wanted nothing to do with him. That is the classic sign of a gold digger. So the final two gold diggers are from the same creator, Ant. His channel has 2 million subscribers. At number 9, he logs on and is surprised to see that a gold digger is trying to sell his house for $10,000 in game. He honestly suspects that his roommate is up to him because he has no idea how this girl even got roommate on his plot. Here, wait, what What the heck? And why is... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'll give you... No, it's expensive, but trust me. It's, what, what is this girl talking about? Wait, what the heck? She said, I'll give you a discount if you want. Wait, what is she saying? Wait, who wants to buy it? Is she putting my house up for sale? Wait, what is this? What the heck? Everybody else is blocked. Why does she have roommate? As the video goes on, his roommate keeps denying that he had anything to do with it. 
but Ant eventually kicks this gold digger off his plot and everything is all good. Yet she still tries to sell the house, yet she isn't successful because he can't even sell houses in Bloxburg anyways. Now this is the 10th and final gold digger. If you guys like this video so far, make sure to like the video and comment down below and tell me what you think about gold diggers. But, but, we have to get over with this one first. So this one is actually pretty funny. And in this video, actually makes up this scheme of making a gold digger factory for only rich people. So gold diggers will instantly be attracted to it. And surprisingly, someone just walks right up to it. Here's that. Hey, do you own this? Um, I, I do. I, I'm gonna say I do. I am the manager. And she said, yes, I need money, please. And she jumped in. Let's go. We trapped the gold digger yet again. Towards the end of the video, as you just saw, he does successfully trap the gold digger. She is awful suspicious of what's behind the unauthorized personnel door, and she opens it and goes in anyways, but she unfortunately gets fired from working at the factory, which, eh, isn't that big of a loss within my opinion. But guys, that'll be it for me. This was the 10 worst gold diggers in Roblox. If you liked the video, make sure to like it. Comment down below once again what you think about gold diggers and what's the worst experience you've ever had on Roblox with a gold digger. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.